Hi, my name is Amber Rubenfeld, and today I'm going to be talking to you about PEX. Uh, PEX stands for Picture Exchange Communication System. Uh, this is a system that I use pretty much every day with the little kiddos that I work with that are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate this to you, uh, explain how it's used and who it's beneficial for. Um, first off, um, one of my supervisors is a huge, huge advocate for um, sign language and we often have debates about why sign language isn't as functional in um, like the real world as pecs because not everybody knows how to sign but everybody can look at a, at a picture like if a kid comes up and gives you a picture of a potato chip you know you, well, you have a good idea that the kid maybe wants potato chip or is hungry or that sort of thing. Um, PEX is great because it can obviously help with our little nonverbal kiddos and can also give the word to the kiddo for the item so that when they do learn how to talk, they'll associate this icon with the real food item. So an example of that would be, let me grab this. So, for instance, if little Johnny is hungry, um, let's say he he's a new kiddo for Pex. So the first phase of Pex, you could just have one icon. And um, you can either say, like, what do you want? Um, or you can just, like, look at the Pex book. Um, initially, this should be really close to the kid, so they don't have to walk very far. So he should walk up, grab, so pick up reach and release to the person who he wants it for. Um, initial trainings of this uh, require obviously like hand over hand prompting until the child can do it independently. So for this situation, the kid would walk up, pick up the chip and hand it. And then the person would say, I want chip or I want potato chip. Here's potato chip or just hand him the chip depending on protocol. As you get farther along, PEX can also be used for um, sentence strips, which you can order and pull off later, which would include, I want. So, uh, And then the child would pull it off and say, I want potato chip. Um, or like, I want orange juice. Or I want toy, milk, break, all kinds of things. There's also icons in here for um, like, I see. So they could say like, I see a dog, or I see a blue fence, or whatever kind of skill you want to work on. So it's really, it's a really great book that's not just for communication. Well, I mean, it's still just for communication, but you can also use it beyond just manding. You can use it for tacting. Um, but again, those are higher skills. Um, so yeah, uh, PEX is... Um, well, okay, so obviously it's the child or the individual requesting for what they want. So they're going to hand you the icon that they want and then get the item. Um, you run into issues if you don't have the item that they want. Um, like the higher learners will be able to open the book and flip through to what they want. So typically all these icons here, like strawberries, whatever is motivating for them, will either be on the front of the book here for them to pull off or it'll be on one of these pages. So they could have, you could have like an icon for potty. You could have an icon for all kinds of things. Uh, this book obviously isn't put together yet because I don't have the kiddo for it quite yet. Um, but yeah, it's a great tool. So you put Velcro, you can either put it across this way, like three strips, or you can put it vertical depending on preference. Um, and then these icons, you can make them. So these come with a bunch of icons, but obviously everybody's interests are different. Um, some kids don't realize that a picture of like orange juice could also mean milk. So you might have to, or like maybe they like strawberry milk and you'd have to print off a picture of like their cup with the strawberry milk in it just so that they understand that when they're requesting this icon, that's what they're getting. Um, so yeah. I, I really like PEX. Um, and they also have an app on the iPad for PEX. Um, 
I think it's called Pro Loquo to go. Yeah, that sounds right. And you go and you buy it. It's really expensive, like $200 or $300. Um, but then if the kid has the iPad, how a lot of kids these days are really moved to iPads or phones, um, they can go up to somebody with their phone and show like, I want cookie or I want toy, I need to go potty, those kind of things. Um, so yeah, it's really great. Um, whereas signing, if the kid walks up and says like, more, you might not know what they want. And it also can limit depending on who's teaching the signing. Um, and they can't just go up to anybody and sign what they want because sadly, not everybody knows about signing. So, um, so moving on. Um, so this would be really beneficial for uh, like nonverbal kiddos, individuals. So it could be adults. Um, and it's not just for people on the spectrum either. It could be people who maybe they're deaf and they've never learned sign language. They could use pecs. Because um, sometimes you can't understand what they're saying. Um, this is mostly used with autistic individuals though. Um, so yeah, it's really helpful for them. And it's helpful for teaching, like, I mean, obviously like a whole family might not learn the sign. So like this person might go to, let's say Christmas or something and not know how to man for what they want. So the cool thing about the digital version of Proloquo is that it'll verbally say, so you can be like, I want chips. And it'll say, I want chips. So then maybe the person doesn't necessarily have to attend to the PEX book. They could attend to what the PEX um, iPad version is saying. So those are the differences between this hard copy book and the um, Proloquo. Oh, I also like Proloquo because you can take a picture with the iPad immediately and then put the icon there. So that you don't have to wait to go home and print off the icon and laminate it and bring it back. Those kind of things. So yeah. So that's PEX, which stands for Picture Exchange Communication System, and I love PEX. So if you don't use PEX now, go get it. Thanks. Uh, this is Amber Rubenfeld.